In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaIO3 plus BaCl2. This is sodium iodate and we have barium chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. That's up here. And to do that, I can see I have the iodate ion, just this one iodate ion here. And over here I have two. So let's put a two in front of the sodium iodate. That balances those iodates. Now we have two sodiums. Two here, sodiums are good, two chlorides, two chlorides, barium and barium. That's the molecular equation, so that's balanced. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So compounds with sodium, they're going to be soluble. And then we have the chloride ion here. In general, chloride ions, compounds that have the chloride ion, very soluble. Barium iodate, however, this is insoluble. So when you have these two substances react, we produce these things here, we get the solid, which is a precipitate. It's insoluble, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That's going to look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we split all the other compounds apart into their ions, but solids, we don't split those apart. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants, I see that there are two sodium ions here and again in the products. Let's cross those out. Those are spectator ions, and then two chloride ions in the reactants and in the products. Spectator ions, we cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for NaIO3 plus BaCl2. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium iodate plus barium chloride. Note that charge is conserved. We have a two plus here, two times one minus, that's two minus. So those add up to zero, net charge of zero. And this is a neutral compound in the products, net charge of zero. Charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced too. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NaIO3 plus BaCl2. Thanks for watching.